Welcome back to The Grand Dabbler, and today we'll be dabbling in the world of NBA logos. I am ranking all of these teams exclusively on their logo design and not on court action. Let's get straight in with the 76ers. So it's a very simple design, this one, as a lot of them do. They have like the basketball logo background. I feel like there's just something missing about this logo. Like it looks fine, but it just looks a bit incomplete to me. I think this one for me is actually straight into a D tier. Next we are talking Washington Wizards. This one just looks a lot cleaner. It has a similar sort of outline to the 76ers, but I just think this is done a bit better. This for me is a C. For me it's just missing a bit of character, like you could put any team name there and it could be a basketball team I guess. Up next we have the Atlanta Hawks. And I'm just going to say it straight away, I really hate this logo. All I see when I see this logo is like a Pac-Man, the wrong way round. I get that it's trying to be clever as like the hawk is the inverse part of the logo. I don't know, again, there's something a bit missing here for me. It's going to go into D tier. Next up, we're talking the Cleveland Cavaliers. In a way, it doesn't really look like a basketball logo, but it still, for me, shows off a lot of character. I quite enjoy this logo personally. I'm going to give this an A. Next up, we're talking the Detroit Pistons. Again, this is another super basic design that could be on any team if you was to put their team name there instead of the Detroit Pistons. For me, unfortunately, it's going to have to be a D tier. Onto the Milwaukee Bucks. And this logo is really basic. Doesn't even have the team name. At the same time, I can't really explain it. It gives off this cool vibe. I'm going to give this a B. Onto the Toronto Raptors. Again, I think this has a lot of character. They take the same basic design that a lot of the teams use, but have given it the free markings as like a Raptor scratch. I just think that's super cool. I'm going to give this an B. Next up, we have the Mavs, and I don't like this logo. It's kind of hard to see what it actually is. Like, I get the animal is like merged with the blue basketball or whatever but I don't know I don't like it I'm going to give this a D next up and we have the Denver Nuggets this is quite a slick design I do quite enjoy this personally I like the sort of gold trimmings on everything like I feel like they could have made the gold super overpowering on this logo considering it is the Nuggets like the gold Nuggets but I don't know the contrast with like the dark blue just looks really nice I think I'm going to give this an A Next up, and we're talking the Houston Rockets. Obviously, the R is supposed to be like a rocket shooting off, and the bottom of the rocket is like the fire that it's giving off. It looks okay. Again, there's a bit of personality there, but I'm not a huge fan of it personally. I'm going to give it a C. On to the Memphis Grizzlies, and we are looking at a grizzly bear. This gives me the same sort of vibes as the Milwaukee Bucks, but I don't like it as much as the Bucks. For me, this is a C. And now on to the first team that ever drafted me on NBA. It is the Minnesota Timberwolves. I quite enjoy this logo. Again, it has the standard basketball in the background, but the but the Howling Wolf does look quite cool, and the like center point of the ball is supposed to look like a star, I guess. Yeah, I quite enjoy this logo. I'm going to give this an B. On to the San Antonio Spurs, and I'm not huge on this personally. It's just like a generic college font with, with the little fuse thing on the U. Yeah, I'm not big on this. I'm going to give this a D. Next up is the Utah Jazz. A lot of personality there with the music note. It's going to be a B for me. Next up, we're talking Golden State Warriors, and this for me is the first S tier logo. It's quite plain, it's literally just the Golden State Bridge, but the colour contrast just makes it look really clean and nice. Yeah, the first S tier. And now we're on to the Clippers. This is another super basic one with the basketball outline, but this is even more basic than the rest of them, because this is like this is like a clip art basketball with the team name like in the center. You are going into D tier. Now onto the Phoenix Suns. This is quite an interesting one because it looks kind of like a trading card or something. It looks quite cool. The basketball is like the sun shooting into orbit or whatever. 
looks cool. I'm going to give it a C. On to the Sacramento Kings. I don't know what it is about this design. I just really don't like. I don't know. I don't have much to say about this one, to be honest. It's just a D. We're on to the New York Knicks. I quite enjoy like the 3D textures of this logo. Just looks super clean and nice. This is going to be a B tier for me. Now on to the Pelicans. This is quite a detailed logo. I just like how clean everything sort of comes together on this. I'm going to give this an A. Next onto the Charlotte Hornets. I'm not super fond of this one personally. I think this could have been really cool, but I just don't like how the actual Hornet looks in the background. Bit petty, but it is sort of the showpiece of the logo. I'm going to give this a C. Next onto the Portland Trailblazers. This is quite a unique design. Me not being from the area, I don't really know what this is supposed to represent, but it looks kind of cool. I imagine it's got a lot of personality from Portland, but I don't really get this one personally. I think I'm still going to give it a B though. There's just something about it that looks kind of cool. Next, we're on to the Miami Heat. One of the most iconic logos in the NBA. And I think it looks okay. A flaming basketball going for a hoop. Quite a simple concept, but it looks good. It's going to be another B for me. Next, we are on to the Pacers. This one's just a bit too basic, in my opinion. It's kind of just a P with a basketball, where like the whole of the P would be. So for me, it's a C. Now we are on to the Oklahoma City Thunder. I swear their logo used to be a lot cooler than this. I'm really not a huge fan of this. It just, again, looks a bit basic. and I don't really know. And I feel like it could have been done so much better. It's going to be another D tier for me. Next, we are on to the Boston Celtics. And this logo just exudes personality. I don't know what it is, but when I think of the NBA, I always think of the Boston Celtics logo. It just has to be an S for me. Now, onwards onto the Lakers. This is another pretty basic one, but it's got like an iconic font. Just looks quite classic, this one. I think this for me is a B tier. Now we're on to the Orlando Magic. Not huge on this. Again, it's a bit basic. It's got like the college sort of font. I do like the stars. They give it a bit of personality for me. I think it's a C tier. Now on to the Chicago Bulls. Obviously one of the most iconic NBA logos. Just a very angry looking red bull. I think for me personally, it's an A tier. And we end on the Nets. This is a more basic one for me. I think this is going to have to go into D tier. I'm going to do a bit of shuffling around with these because I feel like some of them need to be put up a bit. So let's see what my final list looks like. Right, okay, so after some careful consideration, I have put the Atlanta Hawks into C. The more I look at this logo, I think the cleverer it becomes in my mind. I put Rockets into B. I like the creativity with this one. And I have put the Minnesota Timberwolves into A along with the Toronto Raptors. I think for me that is the complete tier list. Let me know how you would list all of these NBA logos. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.